a probabilistic approach to extract qualitative knowledge for early prediction of gestational diabetes, a collaboration between researchers at UT Dallas, Indiana, and Northeastern. Domain knowledge and risk assessment are often expressed with rules like the one shown here. The risk of gestational diabetes increases as body mass index increases. These are generally known as qualitative influence statements, and they're a concise way to express how variables interact under all possible values that the variables can take. Specifically, this is a monotonic influence statement, which we show with this in plus notation. It tells us that the chance of an outcome increases with increasing values of the input. We'll motivate a few reasons for working with QI statements in this talk. Briefly, interpretability, alignment with existing knowledge, conciseness, and model refinement are each useful properties. We start in a setting where a researcher has data for a problem and might have some prior knowledge in terms of QI statements. In previous work, these rules were provided a priori as a type of inductive bias to guide the learning. The intuition is that rules can guide learning in regions where the data might be noisy or missing. But because these rules are interpretable and seem to align with how medical professionals already think about risk, we explored a reverse problem where we infer monotonic and synergistic statements from a joint probabilistic model. We also tried getting these directly from the data, but our results suggest that this is much less effective. Here's the complete picture. We want to extract explainable qualitative influence statements about gestational diabetes based on data that was collected around eight weeks into a pregnancy. To do this, we learn a Bayes net with the PC causal learning algorithm, then extract rules with our qualitative knowledge extraction, or quake algorithm. It appears that we can extract good rules. When compared to the rules known by Dr. Haas, who is our obstetrics and gynecology expert, the precision of our quake method was around 92% versus around 63% from the baseline that didn't use a joint model. So it does appear that quake's rules can align with prior knowledge. Here are some specific examples. The top row shows that we were able to recover the relationship between BMI and gestational diabetes mentioned earlier. The bottom row shows a case where prior knowledge is uncertain. This suggests a relationship between level of education, whether a person smoked in the previous three months, and the effect of both on gestational diabetes. Quake suggested that there was a synergistic relationship here, and we hope that in these cases, our method can be a starting point for further study. Refer to our website for a copy of the paper and for some additional notes.